a lot of the sales training has been created by men and for men. Mm -hmm. And the tactics, so to speak, that they're taught, they don't really resonate with women and they don't take into account what things we do really well. Things like building relationships, things like asking questions, things that a lot of women do innately. And some of those sales trainings that they go through, it's like, well, but I've been through this training and I'm not getting the results because it's not using your skills. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the KTS Success Factor Podcast for Women, where we talk about challenges senior female leaders face in being happy and successful at work. I'm your host, Dr. Sarah E. Brown. My guest today is Alexis Gladstone. She's the founder of Interlead, a Chicago-based consulting practice dedicated to aligning people strategies and business results. Interlead designs strategies and programs to help clients develop current and next generation leaders, increase the effectiveness of individuals in sales, and drive organizational change that delivers results. She has a passion for empowering professional women and helping them succeed. She's a sought out voice, trainer, and coach on the topics of women and leadership and helping clients recruit, develop, and retain female talent. Alexis has presented, trained, and coached thousands of individuals in public and private companies, higher education, and not-for-profit organizations. These clients are in industries such as financial and legal services, manufacturing, and hospital medical. Internationally, she has been honored to present and train at a number of financial organizations in Melbourne, Australia, for business and government leaders in Harbin, China, and for corporate leaders in the UK. She's a frequent podcast guest around the globe, talking about women in leadership and sales, and is co-author of a book, Pure Wealth, 26 Ways to Crazy Profitability. Alexis, thank you for being here today. Sir, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. So what is the biggest challenge you help female leaders face in business today? Right now, I am spending a lot of time working with women in sales. Ooh. So yes, I know people are like, ooh, sales. But let's face it, we are all in sales in some way, shape, or form. Right. Right. And what do you see as the biggest challenge that women have in sales and what might be the symptoms of those challenges? Well, I think, first of all, people don't know how to go ahead and talk about their products and services or even selling themselves. Mm. Because even if we're, you know, even if we're not in sales as part of our title, so to speak, there is selling ourselves inside organizations or selling our ideas or selling different things and things that need to get done. So the biggest challenges people face and the women especially is how do I do it and be my authentic self? Mm -hmm. So selling authentically. And what do you see as the biggest mistakes your clients make before working with you in that regard? Well, I think if if you're in, in your true sales, I think a lot of women, they stay on the hamster wheel too long without getting the results that they really want to be getting. Mm. So I think a lot of times what they're trying to do, they may have been taught tactics and skills for selling, or they may have picked up the tactics or skills from watching others who have been selling. And a lot of times those others they're watching are the successful men that are in their organizations and doing it. Mm. But they're not really figuring out how to do it. Like I said, they're authentic selves. And they're not getting the results that they want. Do you see that they're trying to copy the men that they're observing? They're trying to copy the men and it's not what women do well. See, the Mm -hmm. problem is if they've actually been in a sales, some kind of sales training, a lot of the sales training has been created by men and for men. Mm -hmm. And the tactics, so to speak, that they're taught, they don't really resonate with women and they don't take into account what things we do really well things like building relationships, things like asking questions, things that a lot of women do innately. 
and some of those sales trainings that they go through, it's like, well, but I've been through this training and I'm not getting the results because it's not using your skills. Mm, I see. So what's the number one free and actionable tip you can give our listeners today to help them address this challenge now? You know, whether we're talking about business, Sarah, or we're talking about sales, it's all about relationships. Mm -hmm. When you you think, I mean, relationships is everything, you know, relationships of where you're meeting people, we're building them all of the time. And you need to build those relationships before you actually need them. You know, before you're actually trying to get inside an organization to sell something, before before you're trying to meet someone, you want to build those relationships. It's all about I like to say it's all about how people, if people know you, they like you and trust you, they're going to do business with you, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So building those relationships to let people know who you are, and then people are going to really start listening to you and wanting to do business with you. And ultimately, and what you're really trying to do in in, when you're in sales is get referrals. Ah, I see. Okay, great. So what's the valuable free resource you can share with the women who are listening today to help them understand this challenge better? Well, part of being in sales and part of selling your product or service or part of selling yourself, it's really talking about knowing who you are and knowing what makes you unique and knowing how to talk about that comfortably. And as women, we're not always good at that. We were raised not to brag we were raised in ways that we don't want to, you know, talk about ourselves. So I actually have come up with a way to a, a handout giveaway that I have, and it's 10 ways and 10 things that women can do to help them stand out and be noticed. And that's not feeling like bragging. And a lot of those t- the tips, they work whether you're inside an organization and trying to sell yourself or whether you're not inside the organization, you're actually trying to sell your product or service or selling your own business. So that's 10 ways to stand out without bragging. That's very cool. Where, where would our listeners find that? I'm going to give you a link for that Great. so that you can put that on the um, link to this podcast. And also, just so people know, I'm actually going to be turning it into an ebook. So if people actually give me their, in order to get the, um, the handout, the, the download, give mm-hmm. me their name and email, they'll also be notified when the ebook comes out. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Okay, great. And that will be posted in the show notes. So Alexis, what's one question that I should have asked you that will help our audience to take action to address this challenge now? And then would you please answer the question? I think the question that I thought of when I saw that you were going to ask us is, where do I start? If I want to improve in sales, if I wanted to, you know, get better at this, what should I do first? And I think if you're in sales, obviously, You need to know your numbers and you need to know your product or service. You need to know what you're selling, but you also need to know what makes you unique. Why are you different or why is your product and service different or how you're selling your product and service? Why is that different than all the other competitors that are out there? So being able to articulate that and differentiate yourself from all the other noise that's out there, I think is the number one place that people should start if they don't know where to start to look at doing something different with their sales. That involves selling a product or selling yourself as well. Absolutely. <clears throat> it, it works both ways because obviously if you're selling a commodity, you know, let's say you're in financial service sales and you're selling insurance, a lot of insurance brokers out there, a lot of insurance companies are out there. But there's something about you and how you sell and how you service your clients that makes you different and unique. And you need to be able to identify that, articulate it, and show it to the people that you're doing business with, both your prospects and your clients. So Alexis, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. It was such a fun conversation. Thanks for listening to the KTS Success Factor Podcast for Women. If you like what you are hearing, please go to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave a review. And if you would like more information on how we can help women in your organization to thrive, then go to www.sarahebrown.com. You can sign up for our newsletter, read show notes, and learn more about our podcast guests, read my blog, browse through the books, or contact us for a chat. Goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.